Let's get back into transformers again. You remember in the second year we studied system voltages, transformer ratings, secondary systems, and that sort of thing. In the third year, you were first introduced to your transformer connections, and in the third year, you had to, to scale out uh, the high side system and the high and low side of your transformer bank. You had to scale out your system, make vector diagrams and that sort of thing. In the fourth year now, you won't have to do that. You'll still have to vector diagram. But uh, the big thing in the fourth year is that you're going to have to go through and calculate out what your, what your uh, fuse size will be. Basically, you're dealing with a Y and a delta system. In a Y system, you'll see where your coil current and your line current are the same. It's somewhat simpler. Let's start out with the, with the Y system. And of course, the Y is going to look like this. To find our fuse size, the formula that you would use, now this is for, for the Y system, what we'll do is we'll take our KVA and divide it by a thousand. What that's going to yield now is my volt amps, which is my unit of measure of power. And I'm going to divide by my coil voltage, and that'll equal my coil current. Our coil current, with our Y system now, our coil current is going to be equal to our line current. And in all cases, when you're figuring fuse size, you're looking for that line current. Our line current times 1.25 will be equal to our fuse size. All right, now what we're using is the basic power formula. The basic power formula is P is equal to EI. We're going to isolate I. I is going to be equal to P divided by E. Uh, this value of power that we're dealing with, this value of power is a rating of our transformer. And uh, you'll, you'll you'll see from the uh, work you've done in the fourth year that uh, we, we have three units of measure of power. We have kilowatts or watts, which is the basic unit for true or real power, resistive load. And then we have a reactive load, which is K vars. The total of the two is volt amps. That's why a transformer is rated in volt amps or kilovolt amps is that it has to handle the real and the reactive load that is tied to it. So for the Y system, we've got basically a series connection. Our line current and our coil current are the same. And you can see that by this formula. The difference now between the formula that we use for uh, our Y and our delta is that on the delta system we're feeding two different phase angles. On our delta system we're feeding each of those corners and of course we're feeding two different phase angles so that our line current is going to be greater. That's where we have to use our three phase constant. Now the difference between this formula that we have for for the Y and the one we want now for the delta is that we're going to take our line current, or our coil current I should say, we're going to take our coil current times 1.73 and of course then that's going to equal our line current. In other words, if I had 10 amps for a coil current for this particular transformer, 10 amps up here for, for this transformer. Because I'm feeding two different phase angles, I'm going to have more than the 10 amps in my line. 
And this is where our three-phase constant comes in. If I make a parallelogram out of this, you see my coil current is in, my two coil currents is going to yield in one, if I had 10 amps now, is going to yield 17.3 amps for a line current. So I'm using our three-phase constant or the square root of 3, which is equal to 1.73 in our three-phase systems. We'll work with some transformers. Uh, I've, uh, we'll come in close. Uh, your fourth year transformers, I'll, I'll, I'll diagram them, I'll work through the complete problem right on through to where we'll figure out the fuse size. 